Hi everyone, this is Matthew at Das Trader. Today's video is going to be how to draw fib lines in Das Trader Pro and also draw uh, possibly support resistance lines and just quickly on how to make those two functions a lot easier using uh, Das hotkeys. So if we double click on the icon here and um, I want to click cancel. Okay, and okay, so. Um, here we have the uh, just a chart for the ETF that tracks silver's performance. Um, we could set it on uh, any of these uh, ones that I just kind of thought I might go through. Um, first, I want to show you how to do it manually. I thought it'd be nice to know manually how to do things before moving on towards the advanced hotkeys. So manually, you could just um, right mouse click on the chart and then go to trend lines and you want to check um, first if you have permission for advanced chartings one way you know that you'll be able to see um, the trend lines uh, the fib line here and the uh, uh, horizontal line as well um, these this these informations you'll be able to see if you don't see those that just means you don't have advanced charting and uh, it's just something your broker can uh, enable for you okay so for example if I want to draw a fib line I would just right mouse click on the chart click fib line and then what I would do is um, generally fib lines you have a mid-center baseline you know kind of you could see like yes it had a, a lot of moves up here but you also had a lot of moves down here so you have generally a baseline and then you're just trying to find out while it's consolidating as it has a low point and a high point what are some of those regions where um, well, we could uh, have a higher probability of setting up um, or agreeing with some of the support resistance lines I should say um, at, after we've drawn um, our support resistance lines because generally um, the way I like to look at it is Fibonacci lines they're more of once you're inside the, you, you've chosen the campground and you're basically setting up um, uh, some of the you know the 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 perimeter if you will uh, on you know what what are the what are the areas where they're uh, most uh, likely to uh, hit retraces on um, and then the support resistance lines I kind of look at them as um, first choosing you know where on the map uh, you're going to be uh, you know camping so um, just that said um, I've what I've done is I've right mouse clicked on the chart again and I have went to trend lines clicked on Fibonacci line you'll notice the pen uh, the cursor pointer changed to the uh, tool um, it looks like a pen and uh, the support resistance looks exactly the same thing except that uh, you clicked on Fibonacci line instead of the horizontal line so you what you do is you look look for the top peak which would be over here this one's kind of uh, not as high as that one so I'd, I want to start from a high peak to a low peak and just kind of see where are these lines being drawn into the future and how where are we right now and uh, you know just kind of again uh, technical analysis is not a science it's more of an art and uh, generally um, so I just want to click on that that high point and then drag and just put that crosshair right where the uh, the lower edge of that um, pointer and I can just actually drag it down a little bit further there we go okay so I just um, like I said it's just an art so you want to look for you know what are the areas where um, you know folks are having a little bit tough time uh, bouncing around looks like that 61.8 percent um, is having its uh, battle through um, and then this 73 is just something that I added personally myself you can add custom percentages for example um, um, I also added um, the 10% as well but if you right mouse click on the config where you see excuse me if you see at the points where you started and dragged to if you hover over the endpoints you'll get a crosshair it looks like that then you just right mouse click and then go to config and you'll be able to see you know the, here are the areas that um, you know this is the this is the ones that I've added and you know these are the ones that come in by default and you can always set these um, different styles and the colors that you like I don't set them as solid lines because in my mind I always 
I know that these lines are it's more of an art rather than a science and they're malleable so they're they can change uh, uh, you know from uh, they're not they're not going to be exactly precise and that kind of just helps my brain uh, know that you know these are not lines you know you know written on stone more like lines in the sand if you will okay so that's how to draw the fib lines okay and uh, let's talk about how to set up a hotkey for Fibonacci line and uh, so to set up hotkeys from the menu bar set up hotkeys this we get this window click on add new item and we go to trading categories chart specific horizontal line and uh, set a hotkey for it. I'm going to use uh, PGDN as page down. Click commit, add new item, trading, Fibonacci line, Fib line for short. We'll use page up, click commit, and then click OK. OK, so if I wanted to use that Fib line again on the SLV, I just use the page up, I activate the cursor, um, and then I just gonna click and drag right there and then let's say if I wanted to um, drop the support resistance line somewhere down here maybe a page page DN and then click there and let go for example UNG if we want to do another fib line um, I generally wouldn't do it here because the starting point is here and we've already broken the low so generally uh, Fibonacci lines you want to draw them where you know there's a high point and a low point and everybody else in between is 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 within that range so um, again you know it makes sense because that's how you utilize the uh, percentages inside uh, the um, the uh, the uh, the fib line that you draw so uh, let's see here this one you know you could you could try it for this one page up excuse me sorry I had to click in the chart first before using the fib line select um, select the chart first uh, so that way MRO is in and then um, just use the page up for the hotkey and you want to drag down so you want to put your point pointers drag them towards um, the high points and the low points so for example on this one you can see okay well it, it came back down and it looks like that 38.2%, 50%, 61.8%. Those are the two numbers, excuse me, three numbers that generally have the most activity. Um, again, if I drew this the other way, you'd see that it'd be the 50 and the 61.8%. Uh, it just depends on how you draw it. Could do it the other way, but you want to make the numbers to make sense. So, right, so we start at the top, it fell, you know, 10%, and then it fell, you know, 23.6%, then it fell 30, 38.2%. And then it fell 50%. So you want the the numbers percentages uh, to to make sense. Now, um, okay. Thank you for uh, joining on this video um, with Das Trader. Uh, again, this is Matthew, and this video has been a demonstration on how to set up um, uh, your Fibonacci lines, both manually and using hotkeys. We also went through support resistance lines as well. And this generally concludes the part one if you have any other requests um, specific requests um, feel free to uh, uh, email me at support at thank you have a good day